Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. My name is Rachel Kennedy and this is Living the Denver Boulder Lifestyle. Today I'm going to be touring you through a single family house listed in Lakewood, Colorado for $750,000. Before we get started on our tour, I'd like to remind you that I am a licensed broker in the state of Colorado. So as much as I love putting this content together for you, making these videos, showing you around town, I would love even more to help you with those real estate needs. So please feel free to hit me up on the email or that phone number that is popping up below. I am the person who responds personally and I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get started. All right, so before I tour you through the single family house in Lakewood, Colorado, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button that is popping up on your screen below. I put out videos every Thursday afternoon and I don't want you to miss them. So today we're gonna to be touring through a single family home in Lakewood, Colorado. This property is located at 8863 Warren Drive, Lakewood, Colorado. And it is a single family home listed for $750,000. It has 2285 square feet, so just about 2300 square feet has four bedrooms, three baths, and is a complete remodel. So buyers moving into this property would not need to touch anything as it has already been completely renovated with brand new hardwood floors. They opened up the kitchen and made the kitchen, living, dining room an open concept, open to that sunken living room as well. So overall, they did a really, really great job with the remodel of the property. Home was built in 1968. It does have a new roof and then a little bit of about market statistics. This house has been on the market for 33 days. They started at $795,000 as their list price and came down to $750,000. I looked at the comps in the neighborhood. The neighborhood sells similar property selling for anywhere between $680,000 to $845,000. Now obviously there's a ton of different nuances that go into why would a house sell for six eighty dollars and another one sell for $845,000. Maybe lot size, location, etc. Maybe Maybe there's mountain views in one of those properties. So lots of different nuances, but just to give you a little bit of idea of what other properties are moving for in the neighborhood. All right, so the neighborhood itself is called Carmody, um, and Carmody is a an older neighborhood, very well established. As you drive through, you'll see that there are some properties that we call tract homes, or the builder came in and built several different floor plans, you know, throughout the neighborhood. Or there's also a handful of custom homes in the neighborhood as well. So I love that type of neighborhood because it adds for some eclecticness to the neighborhood. You don't have every single house looking like a cookie cutter house like you see in a lot of new build neighborhoods nowadays. Some buyers love that. Some buyers love to drive down and see that every house is like very uniform, has the same tree in the same yard and the same colors, etc, etc. And some buyers just like to mix it up. So to each their own. I'm not saying that one is good and one is bad but this neighborhood definitely has some eclecticness to it the houses all look very very different the neighborhood again because it is a nice well-established neighborhood built in the 60s and 70s you're gonna get very big mature trees mature landscaping there is a park right up the street it's a three-minute drive from the property called Kendrick Lake Park the park has a lake Kendrick Lake and in that lake you can fish they don't allow any paddle boards or you know personal flotation devices in the lake so it is strictly for fishing but there are beautiful walking trails really nice grassy fields there is a gazebo that you can rent if you want to host a family reunion birthday party picnic etc and then carmody neighborhood is actually a 10 minute drive from belmar shopping center if you're not familiar with belmar shopping center and all that comes along with living in lakewood check out my what it's like to live in Lakewood Colorado 2023 video for a little bit more detail into Lakewood itself pros and cons location all that kind of stuff the Belmar shopping district is the big shopping center in Lakewood it kind of acts as their like main street downtown hub it, within Belmar you have Whole Foods Target movie theater lots of small businesses as far as shops restaurants go so that would be where you would likely go for your grocery shopping household shopping etc 
So the property itself feeds into Jefferson County School District. I've talked a lot about Jefferson County School District in previous videos. The fact that they have their school of choice program. The feeder schools for this home are Green Gables Elementary School, Carmody Middle School, and Bear Creek High School. So if you go on greatschools.org, you can look up each of those schools and see what their ratings are, see what other schools are nearby in case you wanted to choice into a different school. If you have any questions about how the heck does the School of Choice program work, feel free to hit me up. I'm happy to help answer those questions for you and help you navigate that. Um, so without further ado, let's get started on that tour. All right, so you can see why I love this house, right? It's super fresh, really nice, white, crisp color scheme with those black accents, brand new hardwood floors, really nice big backyard. It could use some personalization, right? And that's where I think the buyer has some opportunity to come in and do something really cool with that backyard. But I love the neighborhood. I love, love, love that feel. All right, and that's it for me. I hope this was super helpful. And of course, please feel free to hit me up on that number or that email that is popping up below if I can help with any real estate needs here in Colorado.